Chronos is a node in Nuke which can be used for retiming, particularly designed to slow down or speed up footage smoothly by calculating motion in the sequence and generating motion vectors. These vectors allow Chronos to interpolate frames, creating new in-between frames that maintain natural motion. Okay, so these are the properties of Chronos node and first itself we can see that this node supports GPU which is great. Next we have the input range. It detects the range automatically or else you can press reset and this is to choose the channels which we need to retime. Next we have method and inside here we can see frame blend motion. We always use this motion because it generates motion vectors and does retiming using that motion vector which is what we need here. And up next we have timing. So inside here we can see input and output speed and also there's an option called frame. Mostly we all use output speed. Output speed and input speed controlled by the value over here that's called output speed. This is the ratio of speed which we use to calculate. In this case I'm gonna go with 0.5. You can see if you keep one this is just like the default speed and if the value is less than one you are slowing the footage and if it's more than one obviously the result will be fast next we have motion properties inside here we have a couple of options regularized and local processing is very quick if we use local and as we want more accurate results we are going to use regularized here Next we have a couple of important properties here, vector detail and strength. Vector detail determines the density of motion vectors which is going to get calculated for retiming. If you increase this value, definitely the processing time will be more. Next we have strength. This is really a very sensitive property. If you increase the strength, obviously the result will be very smoother, but I think it will miss tiny details. Next we have filter property for motion blur. Next we have the output viewer settings. That means we are going to see result in the viewer, which we always want. And if you're connecting a mat into the Kronos node, make sure you choose the exact settings here. Yep. So this is all about the properties of Kronos node. If you see the Kronos node here, you can see there are a few pipes here. Out of that, the first one is source, which I'm going to connect into our plate. And we have a pipe for mat. If you have a mat, you can connect that here. Next, we have motion source. That means if you have a different source to generate vectors, you can connect that into this pipe. Next, we have FG vectors and BG vectors. You can connect those vectors respectively to these pipes. That's all about the Kronos node. Now, this is my plate. It's a pretty simple footage. So I'm gonna reduce the speed and maybe have a value of 0.5. Now the total will be around 100 frames. If you see here, let me do a playback and show you how it looks right now. Yeah, the footage is slow down, but you can see there are many artifacts in the footage. Kronos is one of the most efficient tool for retiming. Next, we are gonna check out a few other methods for retiming. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so now we are going to check out a new retiming tool which is available inside Nuke. If you want to get Rife, go to the Catry page inside Foundry's website and you can download this from there. If you see the properties here, this is very much similar to the Kronos node. I'm going to click on the Kronos properties and compare between both. We have an option to use GPU if available. Like most people who use Nuke definitely will have a GPU, so make use of this option. Hey everyone, quick break from the tutorial. I wanted to share a really handy tool I have been using lately called a Juice Pack Manager. It's a standalone app packed with tons of motion design assets, transitions and elements that work great across different creative tools. You can quickly browse previews, download what you need and drop those elements right into your workflow. Super smooth and lightning fast. If you would like to check it out and support my channel, use my referral code or grab the link in the description. It really helps the channel and, and might just speed up your own projects too. Alright, let's jump back in. Next we have an option to choose the color space. After that we can choose the mode of, I'm gonna keep this as a retime. We have input range where we we can type in the frame range for calculating the speed and also there is an option to reset that as well so we have an option to choose which is the channel we are going to use for the processing in my case i'm going to choose rgp so next we have the important options that means we can choose between output speed and frame i'm going to go with output speed just like before i'm going to keep the output speed as 0.5 also there is an option for choosing the filter as well as an option for optimizing speed and memory which is turned on by default let's see what the result looks like and let's compare between Rife and Kronos. So here I'm gonna view the output of Rife. It did a pretty good job here. While I compare with Kronos you can see 
there are lots of issues in Kronos. If you can see here, there are a lot of artifacts as well. But with Rive, we get a very good result. Let's go into some other frame and compare the results. So this is Rive and this is Kronos. Kronos is terrible. You can see there are a lot of artifacts inside Kronos and Rife is way better. So this footage shows how Rife is useful if we compare between the quality of Kronos and Rife. With this comparison, I'm going to move on to my next option. Alright, so I'm inside Silhouette right now and as you can see I've loaded the same plate which we just saw inside Nuke. So in Silhouette if you press tab and I'm gonna type Retime and there are a couple of options here as I have Sapphire installed. You can see there is Sapphire Retime and there is a normal Retime which used to be there inside Silhouette before and also we have a new node called Retime ML. So I'm gonna take that connect that into the plate straight away you can't see any changes in the screen right now that's because we haven't adjusted the properties yet so inside the properties we can see there are a few options here first one is model there is only one model available right now so i'm going to choose that and here we have speed and source frame as two different options for retiming very much similar to nuke so i'm going to choose speed here unlike nuke here we have speed control in percentage value that means 100 percent is equals to value one inside nuke so i'm going to give 50 percent here that means half the speed before it is showing as 50 frames that means total number of frames is 50 now you can see the duration is 100 frames that means it's half the speed from the original plate here we have an option to set session duration which we are not going to explore right now and there is a button for reset all it's very hard for me to compare what's the result of this one with the chronos and rife so i'm going to render this output from silhouette and bring that into nuke and compare all of this inside nuke as our final step i'm going to take an output node save the path render that's it i'll see you there all right so we are inside nuke and i have rendered all three retime methods and first one is chronos and second one is rife and third one is silhouette retime ml so let's see how the result looks like so one two three this is chronos and you can see there are like lots of artifacts and this is rife you can see there is a huge difference between rife and chronos so rife is way far better than chronos and that's 100 percent sure so let's compare silhouettes retime ml so at frame 25 silhouettes retime ml and rife has almost identical result i can't see any changes so it's matching perfectly now let's check frame number 50 so this is chronos and you can see a lot of artifacts in this one let's compare rife you can see again it's a huge difference here you can see there are a few issues and now i compare with silhouettes retime ml it's way better it's way better this is rife and this this is retime ml that's a huge difference right obviously there are still issues in retime ml as well but if you compare the artifacts Retime ML from Silhouette has very very less artifacts compared to the other one. I mean Rife is way better than Kronos for sure but compared to Rife, Retime ML has even better output. Yeah let's compare this frame. You can see this is Rife and this is Retime ML. Lots of difference. It's very smooth inside Retime ML. Kronos has lots of artifacts but if you see this is Rife and this is Retime ML. Here you can see in Rife it's mushy. This is Kronos, it's pathetic. And if you see, this is Rife and Silhouette has way better result in this frame. So in this frame, you can see Silhouette failed here, but Rife has way better result. Here it failed, I don't know what's the reason. Yeah, this is almost identical. Crazy, Kronos is crazy. This is Rife, this is Silhouette. You can see the shape of the shoe is almost preserved here. In Rife, it's almost matched. What about this frame? This is Kronos and you can see it's terrible. You can see Rife is way better and Silhouette matches that. So if we compare all the results, I'm going to stop using Kronos hereafter because Rife is way better than Kronos. But if you have an option of using Silhouette, definitely go and render a version from Silhouette and compare that to Rife. I'm 100% sure the Silhouette exceeds your expectations. I hope this comparison tutorial is useful to you. If you learned something from this one, please like the video and comment down your thoughts. Till next tutorial, it's Manu signing off. Thank you for watching.